I've been using the iPhone 6 for around about a year and a half now and I'm really enjoying iOS in general. Um, that's something that I haven't had a problem with over my time. I've been an Android user in the past uh, and the iPhone 6 was one of the first iPhones that I ever got. So as you can see here, this is my home screen. The one thing I've done with my home screen is I've tried to put the most important apps on the first page. I do have a secondary page, but it's not really used that much. It's more used for new apps that I've got or apps that I'm looking at reviewing in the next couple of weeks. You can see in the top panel, I have all of the default applications, the ones I don't tend to use. So as you can see, I've got photos and clock. Those are the two default applications that I use quite a lot. And then I've got a host of other ones in here. Now I am aware in iOS 10 that I can delete applications. However, I've sort of kept them there just in case. So the cool thing I do with those is I sort of dump them in these two folders. And as I need them, what I'll do is I'll pull down from the top and I'll search any of the applications I need at any given time. So just to start with, I am currently using an iPhone 6, 16 gigabytes. So at the moment, this is my home screen setup. So on this row, I have some of my uh, social applications. So you have Instagram, Snapchat, and LinkedIn. Obviously I'll include where I am on those uh, in the description, but I tend to use Instagram the most, um, Snapchat occasionally, and LinkedIn obviously, uh, just to make connections on the go. The App Store is one of the used applications on my phone quite heavily. Um, and then on this panel here, I sort of have my sort of uh, business panel, which is quite nice because I've got Slack, which I use heavily at Flashsticks. Um, Skype, which I do use for the smartphone, uh, which I think is very useful. And YouTube as well, which I use to collect and find new videos that I can either gain inspiration from or anything like that. The phone features and uh, message features are on these two panels. This is my sort of uh, outreach panel. So I've got my messenger, which I use uh, quite heavily and also messengers, messages right there. So Twitter and uh, Product Hunt are some of the applications that I use to find new things. So I'll use this as sort of sort of communication channel and Product Hunt as a, a, a sort of uh, searching and finding new applications. I would say Product Hunt's app isn't great. Um, it's a bit laggy sometimes and you don't really get the full experience, I don't think. So over here, I've also got some of my sort of uh, fitness um, and walking ones. So here uh, you'll see the panel Spotify and Overcast I use for my audio. So Overcast is a podcasting application. I believe it's a paid for one, so just be aware of that. Spotify, I use the premium account as well, uh, which is five pound for me as a student, which is great. Both of these I use when I'm walking or out and about, so I can just sort of uh, listen to some music or even just tune into a Tim Ferriss or any of the podcasts I like, Paul Miners, uh, Productivity in Tech. And then there's Life Sum, which I use to sort of log some of my food, just in case I want to know the calorie count. And there's one that I'm gonna be using called On The Regime Macros. This is for uh, sort of weight gain uh, when you're looking to gain some muscle. So that's something I'm exploring in the next few weeks. Down here as well, I sort of have my content side of things and my utilities. So I've got Trifecta, which is an application by my good friend, Robin uh, Bailey. I will include his information in the description, but he's essentially created this really cool application that allows you to do squats, sit-ups and push-ups all from a workout um, and you can also have a scorecard as well so once you start the workout it'll give you sets to do and you can really get stuck in with it it's quite fun utilities i have drafts scanbot uni days and trainline all great apps scanbot and drafts i'll include in the description drafts i'm going to be looking to use over the next couple of weeks and do a focus review on it and scanbot too scanbot's a great way to save pdfs on the go feedly is something that i spent a couple of weeks organizing so i now uh I'm officially going to access all my content from Feedly. This is a great way for you just to scroll through some of the contents, very similar to Flipboard, but again, a really cool way to access all of the fun stuff that you want to follow. I always keep my settings cog down here in the top bottom right because I sort of want that easy access to it. Over on this side, as I mentioned, I keep all of my review units here and anything else uh, based on work or apps that haven't quite made this section yet. On the bottom panel here, we have Todoist, uh, Newton, Ever Evernote and Calendar, uh, Google Calendar at the moment. As you guys know, I'm a heavy user of Todoist. Newton is my default email application because I can plug in all my email there. Evernote is my digital note taker. And also Google Calendar allows me to organize all of my time. I have and will re-download Calendars 5 as I get my new iPhone uh, 6 
plus uh, in the next couple of weeks, which I will then set up. But at the moment, I've just got a Google Calendar because I'm sort of in a temporary period with a lot of apps. I'll probably do another one of these what's on my iPhone uh, or smartphone in the next couple of months because I will be getting a bigger storage soon, allowing me to store some new applications. So here are a few applications that I thought you might like to know about that are quite interesting. So this one here is called BetterNet and it allows you to sign into a VNP, uh, VPN sorry, um, safely and it sort of gets you connected uh, to a network so that you aren't uh, potentially being tracked or anything like that, which is quite nice. So it's a, a virtual private network, which is good. And that's a very cool application to use. I'm also reviewing and checking out some of these applications as well. Okay, Calendars 5, obviously Docs is something that I use quite heavily. 8Fit, Habif Habitify, which is a habit tracking app. Not Notion, which is an, an AI email app, which is quite cool. And I'm gonna be doing a review on Take Action in the next couple of weeks. Over here, I've got Flash Academy and WordUp. They're both applications that I work on with uh, Flashdex, sorry. So that's some language apps to check out right there. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to show you today. So I'll include all the links in the description about the apps that I've used here. Um, but I hope this one was useful. I hope you found some value in it. And I'm um, looking forward to sharing some of these in the future with you.